And this is a response video to Matt uh, regarding a video he's done on um, brain science and ob objective morality. And basically it has to do with a scientific experiment done um, where uh, the brain was analyzed, uh, what parts of the brain functioned under different circumstances, uh, different thoughts, processes. And he claims there is this demonstrated proof that uh, our thinking process is inevitably corrupted by emotion and uh, I, I think the conclusion is wrong I think the the facts are pretty straightforward but I think the conclusion is way off the implication of this is that emotion and and reason uh, are not as easily separated as um, some may think and I think what this leads us to uh, conclude I, I guess is that well, something like objective morality is simply impossible from a neurological standpoint. Uh, look, the Im implication is not that objective perception is impossible. Um, it's just not. Um, and objectivity is a, is a point of view, a perspective, an intellectual rationalization. It is not an emotional experience. It is the fact that our brains use emotion as part of the logical process, as part of the capacity to differentiate between right thinking and wrong thinking. You cannot possibly have a computer that's uh, going to think or calculate, and if it can't distinguish between the right answer and a wrong answer, or can't distinguish between an error and a, a, a properly completed function, the machine would be of no value. It could not possibly learn anything. The only way we learn is through the application of emotion, the system works through the application of this affirming um, mechanism. But there's nothing, the, the, there's nothing in this experiment that was done that demonstrates any connection between our, our conditioning and our capacity to reason, or our innate uh, dispositions and our capacity to reason. There is just no evidence of any um, pollution being um, necessary. The fact that we use our brains to think is not a news story. We simply can't navigate a world meaningfully without having emotions tied to our rational intelligence. Um, they're not two separate brain activities such that we could, if only we had strong enough willpower, um, completely disengage ourselves from our own emotional biases to pay attention to, you know, dry intellectual facts. There's absolutely no evidence that of this can't. This, this idea that we cannot navigate our world without being um, crippled by racism, or nepotism, or love, or, or are, um, that we can't make decisions based on, on anything else but our affection for a particular color, our, our, our affection for a particular flavor. I mean, it is idiotic. We are intellectual animals. We have an intellect that can be quite separate, that, that can function quite independent of our mo emotional, selfish, wanting self. I mean, we've known about our corrupt, that, that corruption for a long time. Scientists have known for a long time not to interfere, not to avoid influencing their experiment. And when we are doing, when we are thinking, when we are performing the thought experiment, uh, it is only logical to separate ourselves from our biases. I always tended to think that, um, you know, there's plenty of facts out there. And the facts we choose to pay attention to are the ones that fit with our sort of um, emotional baselines, our emotional biases, and we sort of construct the world out of the facts that uh, our emotions tell us are worth paying attention to, and we ignore the facts that uh, we really don't want to see. And that's just how people build worldviews for the most part. Uh, look, what the average person does and what an intelligent person does don't necessarily have to be the same thing. Um, there are different kinds of people, different people choose to live their life different way. We really, every individual has a choice. Every intelligent individual, every in, 
individual who has acquired knowledge and language and understanding of some physical facts has a choice. They can use that intelligence like a hammer, like a tool, to get what they want, or they can use that intelligence to construct a perception of the world they live in, an understanding of that world that um, renders them somewhat immune to greed and selfishness and the other corruptions that might exist within their innate nature. Uh, yes, we, can, we have the choice. We can be intelligent gorillas, okay, or we can be intelligent first and primarily. We can allow our intelligence to guide, to uh, restrain, to cage the beast. Uh, instead of the beast owning us, we can own the beast. We can tell the beast when it can have its bananas, when it can have what it wants. Um, that's the difference and human beings do make that choice lots of human beings choose to use their intelligence as nothing more than a scheming tool to get what they want uh, and then others choose to be scientists or something better than an animal with intelligence um, and you know we can be aware of that and try to correct for it but uh, inevitably individual human beings make moral decisions based on emotions and not based on logic because human beings are emotional creatures and to, to kind of to even ask or uh, suppose that there could be such a thing as objective morality I think is a contradiction in terms morality is fundamentally emotional objectivity is fundamentally an intellectual activity uh, and to try to meld the two together, uh, or actually we're not trying to meld the two together, we're trying to convert morality and emotion into this intellectual uh, system of rules, I just don't think it's possible. Uh, and in fact, it appears that brain science uh, agrees with me. Uh, morality is not fundamentally emotional. I mean, certainly 2,000 years ago it might have been, for the religious nuts it might be, but there's nothing fun to, it, that's like saying that the efficiency of a machine is is an emotional evaluation we can't tell how how many miles to the gallon our car gets unless we emotionalize the equation it's just plain bullshit morality is basically as i have explained um, is really just an assessment of something of productivity the art is based on the idea of being productive in terms of your influence or impact and that is the morale that that is the 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 moral um, um, mandate uh, the art that's what it comes from is the concept of having a productive uh, a more efficient impact to uh, be a cause that has a better effect. We have choices about what kind of effect we are going to have on the world around us and we can choose wisely or we can choose foolishly and that's where we use our intelligence. There's nothing preventing us from using our intelligence um, in a disciplined manner. There's just nothing. There's no, there's no requirement to allow your subjective desires and drives to pollute your intelligence. That's a choice you make, okay? You have decided you need religion. You have decided you need purpose. You need something else. You need something more than your understanding of the world to get by. And uh, But don't say that everybody needs that to think. They don't. And don't think that everybody needs that to live, because they don't. Uh, they can live for a higher ideal, and the higher ideal is to serve the truth, uh, okay? And you've chosen, you've decided that you will first serve, you know, whatever other organ you think is going to um, uh, give you better advice on how you should live your life. I argue that our intelligence should be where we go for advice. Our, we should ask our intelligence to explain reality to us. We should not ask our big toe, our, our little finger, or our belly button. And uh, to do, like I said, all this, this nonsense about emotion, like I said, we already know. We, we, we know of our corruption. We know we are conditioned animals. We know we are innately built 
we have structures built into us these prejudices and we can simply and easily walk past them we can step over them it takes a little bit of work but it is not it is not climbing mount everest it is far from impossible and uh, all you have to do is have um, a devotion to your intelligence and that your brain will use your um, it will use emotion to make your principles important to you so instead of the cheese owning you you will be owned by your principles principles developed through testing by intellectually testing them you want uh, there to be some purpose the gorilla you want the gorilla to have a purpose okay so you can you can excuse the gorilla using his brain as as um, um, nothing but a tool a scheming tool